Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so before I get started, I am going to say a few things and show you a few things. Um, so right after the intro of this video, um, I'm going to show you guys a quick little video of all the paintings I currently have available for purchase. Some of them are a month or so old, some of them are five, six months old. So it's time to find them a new home. Um, they do no use to me sitting here in my studio in the basement, and I'd rather see, have them um, up on hanging up on someone's walls. So if you are interested in any of the pieces I'm going to be showing you, keep in mind there is going to be a significant discount on them. Some of them, most of them, up to 50% off. So if you've ever wanted a piece of my art, now would be a good time to purchase one because of the significant discount. So stay tuned after the intro to have a look at the video that shows you all the pieces that I have available for purchase. Um, yesterday, I had my resin class. Uh, super excited. It was a lot of fun. The ladies had a blast. I will show you um, some pieces. So this actually, this one was mine. I did this as the demo and uh, it's on a wood board. Still need to peel the tape off the sides, but uh, that was one of the pieces. But this is one of the pieces from one of my students. Uh, how pretty is that? This, I think it was copper or bronze, I can't remember, but super gorgeous. Um, so if anyone is interested in doing a resin class and learning how to use pigments and paste and powders and all that, I'm open to doing another one. So if there is an interest, you can email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. Um, I have one spot left in my acrylic pouring workshop where I teach you how to do the Dutch pour. That's obviously here in my home studio. That class is Saturday, August 27th, um, and there's one spot left. I also plan on doing a resin workshop where I teach you how to top coat your canvases like if you've done a dutch pour or a ring pour or anything like that i will teach you how to put a uh, top coat of resin on your canvas so i will be doing a class like that as well so if you are interested in any of those classes please email me that way i put you on my email list and i put you on my you know in my book where I can keep track and then um, I will let you guys know dates because I haven't come up with any dates yet for the resin but if there's enough interest I will figure out a date and we'll go from there. Um, calendars. Calendars are finally in. I have a massive stock of calendars so if anyone is interested in purchasing, purchasing a 20 by 23... No, it's not a size canvas. If anyone is interested in purchasing a, purchasing a 2023 calendar year calendar, uh, you can email me. Uh, calendars are $50 Canadian uh, plus shipping. Shipping isn't very expensive at all because it is just a really thin um, calendar. So if you're in the US, you're looking at about 20-ish bucks, depending where in the US you are. But yeah, so if you're interested in a calendar, they make great gifts as well. Um, you can email me. Uh, let me put these away so I have some space. And I will show you the dried results from my so-called red, but didn't turn out red. It's more pinky. I had a few people say it was raspberry, and I really like that. I'm going to call it raspberry because it really does look like raspberries. But it dried beautifully. I love it. Um, it, again, it's not what I was going for in terms of red, um, but I'm really happy with it. And in fact, I may, and I probably will, I've seen a few um, Instagrammers and other artists where they'll take a painting and then use gold leaf and they'll do like a square design like that and make it kind of like a 3D. So I've never done that before and I think I'd like to try it. And I think this piece would be a good piece to do it on. So um, this will be a work in progress, unless someone loves it the way it is and wants to purchase it. You gotta email me sooner than later before I start working on it and putting gold leaf all over it. So that's the plan with this, but it probably won't happen for a while because I am off to Florida for our family vacation in a few weeks. So I won't be able to get to that just yet. But if you are interested in that the way it is, email me, canelasiraco at gmail.com. 
super quick, I wanted to mention, um, I've been noticing in my last few videos, um, people are commenting, which is awesome, but then someone is replying to their comments and it's always gentlemen. It's, it's a man's profile. Um, they're always different names. And so let's say I had a comment from Lisa Smith saying, Canela, great pour, great video, blah, blah, blah. And then this guy will message or send reply to her comment and be like, hi, Lisa, my name's John. How are you? Uh, wasn't that painting beautiful or something like that? Do not respond to them. Do not engage with them. These guys are trolls. They have zero good intentions. Um, believe me when I tell you, they're not commenting and asking you how you're doing. They have other things in mind. Um, so please report those comments if you do see them, even if they're not replying to your comment directly, but you do happen to see it on my channel, um, please block them um, or sorry, report them. I can block them. And that's what I've been doing uh, diligently for like the last like week or two. Um, it's getting very annoying and um, just don't engage. Don't respond to them. Don't talk to them. Report the comment. Um, and I delete and block them as I see them. So please keep that in mind. Uh, last thing I wanted to mention, um, the wood rounds. Um, I finally finished fulfilling and packing up all the orders. I can't, it took me four days. Four days straight of sitting here in the basement, um, ignoring the rest of the world. And I finally have them all packed up. Um, I've already sent half of them off to the post office already. Lucas came with me and we filled two shopping carts full of parcels and we dropped them off and the postal lady looked at me like I was crazy. I said, sorry, um, but they're all already labeled so you don't have to do anything. You just have to scan them and put them in the system. But yeah, so the first half of orders have already been shipped out. So be on the lookout for your order. Um, the rest of the half is going to be shipped out um, this week. However, if you haven't paid for your shipping yet, please check your emails as I have emailed all of you. Um, so check your emails out and follow the instructions and whatever, whatnot. And that way I can get your package shipped out to you as soon as possible. Um, for those of you emailing me and asking me if I'm going to get more rounds, because believe it or not, I'm being bombarded with emails asking if I'm going to get more. I'm not. Um, this is just way, way, way too much work for me at this point. I might turn it into an annual order and maybe just do another order next year, maybe two orders a year, big orders. I don't know yet, but for now, I don't ever want to look at another round again for a long time to come. All right. So that is it for my intro. You'll see the video with all the paintings for sale momentarily. And then we're going to get started to today's painting. Be right back. All right, everybody. So I'm going to show you guys some pieces that I have currently available for purchase. So these are all pieces that are just from could be a couple of weeks ago or even a couple of months ago. So I'd like to get them sold and shipped off to their new home because they do no good for me here in my basement studio. So we'll start off by showing you these pieces and I'm gonna try and remember all their sizes. So this is the um, Desert Pour and that one I believe is a uh, either 24 by 30 or 24 by 36, I can't remember. Then we have the Peach Split here that is an 18 by 24. Then we have the Color Splits. We've got the Mustard Color Split, the Dusty Rose Color Split, the black and red, and then the peachy color split. Those are 12 by 36 inch canvases. And then we have the um, St. Patrick's Day green pour. That's an 18 by 24. And then these guys here, we have are all 12 by 16 inch, except for the green base. That one's an 11 by 14. So there's those. Then we have this 10 by 20 gray background with yellows and turquoise in it. Then we have a 16 by 40 inch color split and then a 15 by 30 inch uh, pink and brown color split. And of course the 16 inch ocean round. All right, that's on a wood panel. 
So there's those. And then over here that aren't resined yet, but will be soon, we've got the turquoise in blue color split. That's a 12 by 36 inch. And then we have the neon green with black. And that is a 15 by 30 inch. And then my, I believe it's a 20 by 24, my purple color split from the gold and silver series. So uh, the majority of these, especially the ones here up against the wall, uh, these ones are all much older pieces that I've done. So these are significantly discounted. Uh, and when I mean significant, I'm talking up to 50% off. So if you've ever wanted to own a piece of my art, uh, now would be a good time to choose a painting and get a significant discount on it. So if you are interested in any of these paintings, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com and claim one of these beauties and have them hanging up in your home and not here leaning up against my wall in my studio. <laughs> so let me know if anyone is interested in anything. All right, everybody, ready to go here. Um, let's start off with the canvas. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I'm gonna do um, something a little different today. I will go back to my um, silver and gold um, series. I'll get back to that soon. I just wanted to do something a little different today um, with a black base for my Dutch pour. So my base is going to be my Amsterdam Oxide Black. That is my base paint. And the colors I'm using today are going to be all pearls by Amsterdam. So I'm gonna be using all pearl colors today. Um, I've done pieces like this before, but this time I'm gonna try it a little differently. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. If you'd like to know how I mix my paints with water and Floetrol and the ratios for all of that, for those of you who are new watching, you can check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top for those of you who want to check that out. All right, so I am going to just start off by flooding my canvas and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, so canvas is flooded, I'm ready to go. So typically when you guys see me do a Dutch pour, I have all my colors and then I will do my design and then put the next color on top of the next line. But this time I kind of wanted to change it up and try something different. And I wanted to start with, let's say, a strip of violet here, then blue and then branch it out and do green and red and then gold or whatever. Um, I do need my hair dryer and today I'm going to be using the flower. Uh, definitely going to use the flower hair dryer on this one because, you know, this is a smaller canvas at 16 by 20. It's not small, but smaller than the big ones I typically use. Um, so there's a fleck here. So I'm not really sure how this is going to work out because I always layer four or five colors on top of each other and there's always a lot of color on the canvas where it makes helps me blow it out. So this time though, I'm only gonna be doing one color, maybe two, I haven't figured this out yet, um, but I need enough of it to be able to blow it out. Now, because also I'm using just the one brand and I'm not using the 24 karat gold or any other metallics, it'll be interesting to see um, if or how many or how many not um, cells I'm going to get with this blowout. So I'm going to start and I haven't even really thought about this. I really have not thought about this. So I'm going to wing it and um, yeah, I'm totally going to wing it. So I think I'm going to do, let me think. So if I'm going to do that. That's the violet. That's pearl violet. And then I'm going to do pearl blue and finish it off. I probably should have done more violet. Oh, that's all right. And then I'm going to do, oh, green. I guess I could do green, green and yellow, which yellow really kind of looks like um, gold. 
So actually I'll do gold. Let's do pearl, not gold, sorry, pearl yellow. And I'll go here and I'll do it this way. So I'll do pearl yellow like that and stop there and then do green. Let's do green and finish off the wispy with some green. Oh, I don't know. It all looks white to you. I know, it's so bizarre. And then I shall take my pearl red because we might as well use all the pearl colors and we'll do pearl red. Now, should I branch it off this way or branch it off this way? Or branch it off down here, actually. Maybe I'll, I don't know what I should do. Maybe I'll branch it off down here. Let's change it up. Yeah, let's do that. So I shall branch down here and that is pearl red, okay? Um, so violet, blue, red, yellow, and green. Now, I don't know if this is enough paint for me to blow it out. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to put a little bit, yeah, why not? I'm gonna put a little bit of the oxide black on top of all of that. Just a bit, you see how thin my strip is here? I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. We're gonna find out together. Um, I missed a spot here, okay. So I've got that. And then I think I'm just gonna do a little bit more of each color on top of that. Um, I don't know. I need enough paint to be able to blow this out. Where's my, I do have pearl white though as well, but I'm not sure I wanna mix. Why is this open? Did I use pearl white? No, I didn't. Although it's open, which is strange. Um, yellow, I'll do the yellow, pearl yellow. Okay, and here's my blue. Let's do pearl blue on top again. Okay, and my green over here. I have a feeling the green might get just blown off the canvas, which would not be good. And then back down here for red. Okay, this should be enough to be able to blow it out. And again, I know it looks really strange because it all looks white to you, but believe me when I tell you when it dries, you will see the colors pop. So let's pop the bubbles. All right, bubbles popped. Wish me luck because uh, this should be interesting. <clears throat> so I'm going to start, um, and of course here where the colors meet, obviously they're gonna mix, which is gonna be perfectly fine. So I think I'm going to, maybe I'll start here and blow into this negative space here and then finish that off. And then here we'll see what happens after I blow that out. But Slowly but surely, I will figure it out. Let's get started. Okay, so, and the cells did appear, which is great. Super happy about that. 
Um, I love this blowout. And now my only issue is the green. Um, I'm not going to get a lot of green. And I don't like the way this corner looks, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to wipe um, just this corner and just give it some negative space here in the corner. Um, I should have... I should have brought the green further down a bit, but I'm telling you, when this dries, you're not gonna believe your eyes. I can't wait to see how this dries. Look at the cells that are forming. It is absolutely gorgeous. I just don't know what to do with that. Should I leave it? I'm not sure. Everything else is amazing. I love it. And there was enough paint on the canvas for me to blow this out, which was really great. I was really happy about that. Now, again, I know this looks like nothing to you right now, but trust me when I tell you, if you guys have seen my previous videos where I've used the pearl paints, you know what I'm talking about. They will show up amazingly. I think, you know what, I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it because if I scrape the corner off, I'm gonna lose more green. And this is the only spot that's got green in it. So I kind of don't wanna mess with that. I wanna keep the green. Um, I'm going to fix this strip right here. I'm just gonna kind of blow into the black here. There we go. That just kind of breaks up the straight line that was happening there. There we go. And I didn't get my microphone in the paint. All right, I'm not I'm not touching anything else. It looks amazing already. I can't wait to see how it dries, but I wish I had more green. Maybe if I had put the green where the yellow was. We'll see, we'll see how it dries. Let me bring you guys in for a close up. Not that it's gonna show you much, but let's do it anyway. Be right back. All right, everybody. So don't forget to take your stick and scrape your drips. I've already done that though. I know, sorry for those of you who find that very satisfying. I've already gone ahead and done it. Do all four sides, come back 10 minutes later, do it again, and then a third time if necessary. Look at this piece. It's not even dry yet, and you can already see the beautiful colors that are in it. Um, and, you know, excuse the reflection, but that's what happens with black base um, pieces. I love it. I can't wait to see this dry. And if it works out the way I'm hoping it will, um, I'm going to do this on a much bigger scale. Much bigger canvas, for sure. I just wanted to try it on a smaller piece to start. Let's turn the lights off and see if we can see anything. All right, flash is on. It is a dark, gloomy Sunday. Oh, look, there is shimmer in it. I see it. Not sure if you can see it with this camera, but there's definitely shimmer in there. There's the blue and the violet that's mixed together, so that should be interesting to see when it dries. There's the yellow, which acts like gold. That's the good thing about the pearl yellow. It looks like gold. And then we've got the green up here. So I'm actually really glad I didn't scrape that corner off, to be honest with you. Just leave it be, right? And then we've got the blue and the red mixing together there. So this should be interesting. And there you have it, everybody. Um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Now, if you've seen my other videos where I've used pearl paints, you know exactly how this is going to dry. Um, so if you are interested in this piece, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com and claim it before somebody else does. Um, everything you need to know is listed in the description below. Colors I use, brands I use. There's also discounts for a lot of different products that I use. There's Crystal Resin discount, Loli Vefi, Arteza, um, Let's Resin. I use silicone molds and um, a lot of their chameleon glitters. If you've seen me do the skull heads with the resin and the octopus, I use all of Let's Resin pigments. And speaking of Let's Resin, I now have an even better discount code for you guys. I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but I forgot. So for those of you who stuck around to the end, you're gonna hear the news. I now have discounts for Amazon. If you are shopping for any Let's Resin products on Amazon US, or Amazon Canada, you can now save 10% off your Amazon purchase. 
and I have those discount codes listed in the description below, okay? So you gotta check out the description because the codes are different um, for each Amazon, whether it's US or Canada. So check out the description below. And if you're interested in buying any chameleon powders or pigments or anything like that, or even silicone molds from Let's Resin, now's a good time to get them because you get 10% off. All right, so that is it. Um, if you guys wanna purchase any paintings, let me know. Calendars, let me know. And that is it for me for now. I'm going to go. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.